Good morning, welcome to an episode of Road to 200 Kilo Bench Press. I have slept for way too long. Look at the time. 105. I woke up at half past, but then I started replying to all your comments on YouTube. Then I had a look on Instagram. I had a look on TikTok because I have to like make sure I'm up to date on everything. Oh my god, it's so late. I need to get breakfast going. Absolutely unacceptable. Also, these baguettes are staring at me. I'm gonna have these later probably because I had I had one yesterday. You saw the day of eating, didn't you, yesterday? And you know that I had one yesterday, but I'm, I'm gonna have another one because they're literally staring me in the eyes, begging me to eat them. So delicious. I just love bread. I don't even care about having anything on them. That's the crazy part. A tiger baguette, by the way, like a tiger baton, whatever, the, whatever it's called. It's just so. It's like in itself. It's it's like seasoned or something. I don't know what it is, but it is so good. It tastes like it should have fat on it, like it's drenched in oil or something. But it's not because you look at the macros. You look at the macros. Per 100 grams, it's 1.8 grams of fat. It's just carbs. There's actually 11 grams of protein here per 100 grams as well, which is pretty decent. Anyways, I need to make breakfast. I'll see you when it's ready because uh, recording it is going to take even more time, and I'm going to end up going to the gym at like four o'clock, mate. All right. I'm gonna speak my goal into existence. I'm gonna hit 200 kilo bench by June. It's the second month of the year. June is the sixth month of the year. We're gonna hit four months. I reckon it's gonna happen even earlier at this rate because I'm getting fat. Fork, I'm getting like heavy. <laughs> okay, I've got bagel, 20 grams of jam. Repeat after me, a bagel, 20 grams of Nutella and five shoe soles. Every single day is the same breakfast until I change. It's every day consistent until I'm becoming consistent and change and yeah, whatever. But I'm having the same breakfast, obviously. All the supplements, Krill oil, vitamin D3, multivitamin, vitamin A, 10,000 units. And I ran out of potassium and I don't have any electrolyte tablets, but I will be taking them. Um, this and yeah, I'm gonna be having salt as well. Make sure everything's on point. My shoulder report feels like pretty good. Feels pretty good. I hope um, I hope yesterday's session, I went pretty, pretty hard on yesterday's session. I didn't feel too well, but I literally tried to give it my all and potentially that is gonna eat into my session today, but pray to God that it won't happen and I'm gonna feel okay. So I'm gonna dig into this before it gets cold, bro. Just look at the bagel, bro. Just look at the bagel, bro. It's just something else, mate. Like every morning I wake up and I'm like, this is just, this doesn't feel right. Like why does my breakfast taste like a cheat meal? All right, in a second. All right, boys, literally, I don't know if you can see, um, but I'm tweaking out my fucking goddamn nerves! Oh! Okay, um, yeah. Also, somebody said, because I uploaded my a bench transformation video, somebody said, how did you stop benching for so long? And then you increase your bench all of a sudden. Look at this. I just made a video on TikTok just to illustrate the point. When I wasn't benching, I was doing dips, right? This is a dip down here, like this. Notice how everything moves. And then this is my bench press. Notice how everything moves. Notice how everything moves. <laughs> it's basically the same movement. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So like I stopped benching, yeah, but I also didn't stop training. Exactly the same movement pattern. Anyways, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because my heart is about to explode. And if you don't subscribe, I will not make another video because I will be dead by tomorrow. Um, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go train. I'll see you at the gym. Love you. All right, let me show you my exact setup that's helped me bench 180 kilos. Not that you're gonna bench 180 kilos if you use my setup, but I'm gonna tell you exactly everything I do. I'm gonna show it to you multiple times. So I lay down on a bench press and I already get into an extended position because I feel like having to grab the bar with my shoulders back feels like I'm grabbing it more properly. I've tried grabbing it with my shoulders out, like my scapula retra um, not retracted, and it doesn't feel right. So I get in an extended position, then I grab the bar. As you saw me there, I was digging my hands as deep as it goes in my palm. So I grab the bar, grab the bars here, and I try and put it as deep in my palm as possible. And then I wrap my thumb around it and then I close my palm. That's how I grab the bar, right? You see me also swinging into the thing, into, into the bench press. I use the bar as a weight to sort of pull myself out and in again. So I use the bar as a counterweight. You can see me doing it there, right there. I use it as a counterweight because it's a little bit heavy. Then I'm able to push my shoulders into the bench like this. And because the bar is heavy, I'm pushing my shoulders back. And then I'm able to just put, put a little bit of force, maybe like, I don't know, 20% of my pressing force into the bar. And then I unwrap. Now, you want your head to be behind the bar. You want your the bar to sort of be if you're, look, if you're looking straight up, you want the bar to be sort of at your nose level maybe. So then when you're trying to unrack it, it's a little bit in front of you. Because when you're trying to unrack stuff from behind you, it's impossible. Unless you have somebody to always unrack weights for you at the gym, it's going to be difficult, right? So you have to get a little bit further behind the bar. You have to be careful not to slam into the J-hooks. Because I've done it before. If you set up 
too far back, you're gonna slam to the, um, too far back, you will slam into the J-hooks, but here is the full setup. So I'm retracted, I'm digging my hands into the bar as hard as possible. Once the bar is as deep as possible in my hands, I wrap my hand around, wrap my thumb around, really get a good grip on it, squeeze as hard as you can, then I swing into it, lay down on a bench, retract my scapula, bit of pressing power, unrack. As I unrack, I'm using the bar as a counterweight to pull myself into position. I take a massive breath into my stomach, squeeze my abs, and then I descend. And as I descend, I think about rowing the bar into you. I know you can't row the bar into you, but I'm, I'm, I'm going down and I'm thinking about like pulling the bar like this into myself. And as I'm doing that, I'm also thinking about bringing my chest out like this. If you're thinking about like popping your chest like this, I'm doing that mid rep. So I'm, I'm going, I'm going rowing the bar into me. And as I'm rowing it, I'm also popping my chest out. And that seems to put my shoulders in a safer position. There's a little bit of a different angle there. In terms of feet placement, you want them if you're looking exactly from the side, you want them a few inches in front of your glutes. If you put them very far behind, like I see a lot of people get them under their glutes, it's gonna be extremely difficult to leg drive. You're trying to leg drive towards your face. So if you think about it, if you have them under your glutes, what's gonna happen is you're, you're, the, the angle of your knee is gonna be too much, like it's gonna be too, I guess this would be closed. Yeah, I guess that would be closed. Um, it's gonna be too closed, and that way you won't be able to like extend your leg. You wanna be thinking about doing like a leg extension slash push away like this. And if your leg is too bent like this, you're not gonna have any force because it's already gonna be very, Jesus Christ, everything's falling. Um, it's already gonna be very bent. You're gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to output any force. I mean, that is basically my bench setup. up. Um, in terms of where I put the hands on the bar, I put it on the ring. So there's a ring on the bar that's, that's the same, it's the same place in every bar. So I just put my ring around it and that's where I put my hands. And then I do the rest of the session. This was shoulder press. Then I do dips as an assistance as well. So I do one shoulder movement, one chest movement um, in terms of compound movements. And then I go on to doing a lateral raises, which is an isolation from my shoulder. And I do an isolation movement with my triceps, which I'm not gonna show you because it will get boring. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, drop us a subscription, mate. I hope that explained it well enough. Uh, there's not much to it. It just takes a lot of practice, all right? That's what you're gonna have to do, just practice. Such an optimal session can only be concluded in one way. I've got chicken in the air fryer. I need to be careful of how hard I slam it because I'm gonna break the fucking thing. I'm so cracked, it's crazy. That session, <laughs> I knew it. I knew that yesterday's session wasn't absolutely amazing. Like it was still like a, like a really good session, but like I just know that the day before, if I, have a, if I have a not the most amazing session, the day after I come in with like the utmost passion and because it was bench, my bench is feeling so on the money. Probably because of yesterday's, uh, yesterday's calorie eating whatever right you saw the video I went to sleep yesterday weighing 95 kilos that's a lot I woke up today at 92 or something I'm, I was holding a ton of water because I had like pizzas and shit right I was holding a ton of water so no wonder I felt good today but literally my bench press is so on the money like I feel like as I go down it's just like the the bar is connected to my wrist which is connected to my elbow which is just pressed off my chest I sound like a bit of a funny guy but <sighs> god damn let's conclude the absolutely amazing push session by getting some protein in which is gonna come in a second but first, the most importantly, by the way, a lot of you have pointed out in my full days of eating, why do you put the milk first in the bowl? Now, this is a habit that I learned because back when I lived with my parents, right, we had a really small place to live because my parents, you know, we don't have much money. We never had any money. So we lived in very close quarters and basically the bedroom was right next to the kitchen because it was only one bedroom. Anyways, I would always have a bowl of cereal at night and I would wake my mom up by like just coming into the kitchen and pouring cereal in the bowl, which I know sounds crazy, but it's very close quarters. I wish I could show you, but that's basically how it works, right? So I learned to put the milk in first so the cereal falling into the bowl doesn't make as much noise. Now, if that doesn't make me the best sound in the world, I don't know what does, mate. Yeah, for all you laughing, being like, me -hee -hee. Dave, why do you put cereal in, uh, why do you put milk before the cereal? That's be good, mate. I would wake my mum up and I didn't want to wake my mum up and now it's just a habit. 120 grams of Cocoa Pops, 250 milliliters of milk. We've got 200 grams of chicken in the air fryer. I'm gonna dig into this, these Cocoa Pops. Do you need to see me eat them? Wow, there you go. I'll see you boys in a sec. I feel like I'm getting my hair cut every two days, mate. But I just got like a trim on the sides. I'm gonna go see my friend Harrison. He needs to he, need, he needs to sort out. He's going to sort out like these sides. Can you see? They like stick out. You, you might not see it. You might not even care. But basically, this needs to get sorted out. The sides here because they stick out too much. Makes my head look goofy, bro. I look like a goofball. Not really. I still look handsome as shit. But what I'm saying is it could be better. So we're gonna go see him. Yeah, let's go see Harrison. I'll see you. I'll see you when I'm there, bro. Okay. I've made it to the crib. The hairdresser crib. He's gonna try and fuck my shit up. We'll see how 
much uh, see how I'm looking afterwards. Probably not too different because it's obviously not going to change too much. But like, there's little bits that need to be fixed. It's like on this side, it's completely different to this side. So we're going to get rid of this side. And yeah. What, by the way, some people ask me about my haircut. What would my haircut be called? It's just like fade, right? Mid fade. Um, faded sides. It's like Technically head. just squared. And I would say Don't square, top, like square off my head. Yeah. I would like the way the way like my side of my head goes. I would like say like I need this to be on the same on par with my jaw almost squared off, but I push it forward to explain. Yeah. But like I've curly hair, so my hair just falls however it like falls like that. But it's a mid fade, I think, right? Mid fade, yeah. Mid fade, definitely mid fade. Anyways. It's trim. Looks like we've done absolutely nothing. Yeah, it looks like we've done fuck all, but there is a little bit of a difference. The difference being this light makes me look like I'm balding, which I am, bear in mind. But <laughs> um, there's just less here. It's still wet, so it doesn't look right, but there's just less stuff here, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, this is the same. It just makes my head look like less weird and bulky on the side. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. 360 view, yeah. Woo! I've played a few too many games of CSGO in the last few hours. I've got an update for you guys. If you know what CSGO is, you know that the ranks are what they are. And I am in DMG. By the way, just thought I'd let you know. That's all. That is all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet at the end of the video, that's crazy. Thank you. You should subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Much love.